Okay, so I'm going to read some scripture today in the hopes that I'll find something funny to say about it. Wait, oh shoot, I forgot that the last time I looked at Bible Gateway I was reading the Vulgate. I don't remember why. You know what, the New International Version is sarcastic as heck. Let's go with that one. I did Genesis 1 last time, right? Because the, the chicken came first. And Genesis 2 is basically just the same thing over again, but, uh, different. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Boy, if you'll get- What? That's not what he said. When did he say that? No, he did not. He said, no. So the woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did, did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. When did he say you must not touch it? Hold on, let's backtrack a little bit. Let's go back to Genesis 2. This was before he made the lady. He goes, You're free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it, you will certainly die. However, he did not, did not ever say you don't need to touch it. That's not a thing. Either Eve was making that up, or Adam was making it up when he told her. I don't know. Y'all need some memory checks. So he goes, You will not certainly die. <gasps> Boy, he knew what he said. Bro, bro, bro. Okay, so in the in the scripture, he goes, You will not... Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? And she goes, No, we can eat from any of the trees, except the tree in the middle, where you can't touch it. Right? Not true, but you know what? That's okay. So then he goes... You will not certainly die, which is not what Eve just told him. That's just what God told Adam specifically. He goes, you will certainly die. And then the serpent says, you will not certainly die. He heard that he knew what he said. Man, he be joking. He really be. He playing, man. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. That actually doesn't sound appealing, but you know what? Whatever. She took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked. So the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. You've been naked this whole time, bro. Nothing changed about you being naked. You, you've you been naked. God's seen you naked already. He made you naked. Quit playing. And he said, who told you that you were naked? Yeah, yeah who told- what? Why do you suddenly like, all the animals be naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I command you not to eat from? So at this point, this is like when you're- when you're- when you're- your parents know you did something wrong, and they're like, did you do a wrong thing because they already know you did, but they just want you to say it? But then you're like, no, I didn't. The man said, the woman you put here with me. Oh, oh, you know what? He's not just blaming Eve. He's blaming Eve, but also besides that, he's also blaming God. Look at this. The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree and I ate it. Okay, listen, listen, Adam, you was there. You was there the whole time. You saw your wife go and get some fruit from the tree. And you did not even try to stop her. You know what I think? I think he was waiting to see what would happen. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. We go back up here. He goes, um... She also gave some to her husband, who was with her. So he'd been here this whole time. He'd unheard this conversation between Eve and the serpent. He'd be like... Not even correcting her when she gets her facts wrong. And he knows that God already said that if you eat from it, you will certainly die. He does not stop his wife from trying to eat this fruit that will make her die. He just sits back and sees what will happen. He's like, hmm, I wonder what will take place here on this day. And then after she eats it, then he takes it because, you know, she's already tested it. So he knows it's, so he knows it's safe. The woman said, the serpent deceived me and I ate. Okay, so she also be playing blame game. Listen, he 
told you what do you mean the serpent deceived you are you gonna believe a talking snake or the god who made the entire universe that's all i'm saying that's all that's all i'm gonna say about that this one time i saw this t-shirt that said eve was framed which is actually funny because if you ever come across like any reference to the story in the new testament it literally blames adam for the whole thing just because he was there the whole time didn't even stop her and like see the thing is Eve heard these instructions from Adam, but Adam got them directly from God, so the, the responsibility is first on him, because he got it firsthand, whereas she got the instructions from him. So anyway, so, God, so the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly, and you will eat dust all the days of your life, and I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your offspring and hers, he will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. Okay, so that's why people hate snakes, I guess. I actually like snakes, though. To the woman, he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor, you will give birth to children. Wait, so you mean, that we co you mean to tell me that childbirth could have not been painful? Eve, you absolute. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. So actually, this is funny because a lot of people use this as like a, a justification for the patriarchy, but I think that that's actually a pretty good condemnation for the patriarchy. He's not saying that your husband is supposed to rule over you, just that it's going to happen. This is an unfortunate fact of life that men are going to have a tendency to be dominant over women and so forth, but that doesn't mean that that's what is actually good, right? This is part of a curse. Still smash the patriarchy but now we know why it exists. To Adam he said, because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat food from it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. So, oh boy. So we just be like, okay, so you had nice work before that you enjoyed. Now you have crappy work that you hate. Can I say crappy on YouTube? sucky work and the lord god said the man has now become like one of us knowing good and evil he must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever actually that's probably a good thing imagine like wait would that would he be like would he be like uh what, what's his name like the face of bow or something and then there's a angel with a flaming sword Okay, so that's the story of how the first two humans on the face of the planet were idiots. And, uh, why the world sucks. And now we have coronavirus. So, anyway, if y'all like that shizzle, uh, y'all know how the bell icon works and y'all know what likes are for. So, uh, subscribe for more rants about the Bible. And I, and I will see you, um very soon. Is that my current? Uh, yeah. Bye.